Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to relight footages using switch light, After Effects and Blender. Uh, and yeah, we have a uh, switch light here. I'm going to search in the Chrome and uh, yeah, I will put the link in the description also. When you search it, you will find this website, AI Lighting for Filmmaker. Just click it and you will have the download link here. Uh, you will have it for different operating system, but I have Windows. So I'm just going to click Windows and it will start downloading it. Uh, it's totally free and that's amazing when you start downloading you can just wait for it a little bit and yeah it's done I'm gonna close it because I already downloaded it so I'm just gonna go ahead into file manager and just go ahead to download and I already downloaded it so I'm just gonna search for switch light and I have it here I'm not gonna install it because I already did and I just don't want to do it again so before using switch light you need to remove the background of your footage uh, in after effects or any editing software that you have you're not limited to adobe after effects you can just use any software but in my case i'm going to use adobe after effects to remove the background of a subject so we just isolate that one object and yeah this is how switch light work if you have background layer it's not going to really work but if you remove the background from it it's going to work and yeah I'm using After Effects for uh, doing it, so I'm just going to go ahead and click new project. I'm going to double click it and I'm going to import my footage. Uh, I will also provide the footage to you so you can also use it and practice the same thing. So I'm going to select it and click import. Once you import the footage, you just grab it into a new composition and you have the footage here. So now what we need to do, we're going to go ahead and split the layer here. I'm going to delete this uh, meaning layer, I'm just going to see it. I was looking and I think this look fine okay so what I'm going to do uh, I'm gonna move it here to the beginning of the video and the composition length is seven seconds I'm gonna go to composition settings I'm gonna set the duration to seven zero seven and okay I think I just left some frames here so I'm gonna go ahead again to composition settings and I'm gonna set this to double zero and uh, yeah that's simple double zero okay so we have okay so right now it's time to remove the background we can use anything uh, like rotoscoping but in my case i'm going to use key light i'm just going to drag and drop it into our footage and i'm going to go ahead and select the green background here and yeah you can do it professionally but i just want to do it very quick um i just want to i just want to increase the screen again to remove the background and that's it yeah you can use uh, rotoscoping masking and whatever you want to use just remove the background this is what we want okay so okay that's fine now it's time to uh, use uh, maybe we can use uh, the uh, pen tool uh, to uh, remove the walls here because I just want to have the character in the scene and uh, yeah that's looking good I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just mask it out okay that's looking fairly good and yeah that one also but just go ahead okay so right now what we have here is the character background is removed and now we can relight this guy for just any scene and yeah let's scale it up a little bit maybe we can center it up so we get the full detail from this video I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in the center maybe I can scale it a little bit down because it's clipping there I'm just gonna slightly scale it down maybe I'm gonna slightly move it forward so we have the full body in the video and I think that's looking good now it's time to go ahead and export it into a switch light so I'm gonna click ctrl M on the layer I'm gonna go ahead and select a directory where I want to save the file so I'm just gonna go ahead into my own directory for it I'm gonna create a new folder it's gonna be called PNG and just click it and click save and now click this button and now change the format to PNG sequence and set the channels to RGB plus alpha because it's important so I'm gonna click OK and let's click render and it will render the PNG sequence for us I'm not gonna skip because I just want to tell you how much time it's taking uh, to render out the full you know you can say uh, the full video so I just want to keep it and after exporting this PNG sequence, you will be able to import this PNG sequence into Switchlight. 
and once you put the sw into switch light you will be able to convert it into different maps which later you can use to relight them to just do any kind of change you want to to them and that's really handy so yeah i think it's finishing up and we need to wait for this okay so it's done let's save the file by hitting ctrl s and just just name it whatever you want i'm gonna click man okay save it now it's time to open up the uh, switch light so yeah let's just go ahead and open up switch light so uh, we can we can just go ahead and make changes that we want yeah switch light is really cool like uh, you can literally use any software with switch light to make this thing happen and uh, I'm gonna click it so let's open up switch light and see what we can do here so first it will ask for login just go ahead and click continue with Google if you don't have account create one but I already have so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up I'm not gonna show it to you because you got some badass hackers okay authentication successful and yeah now we can close the window and now it started downloading some stuff you have to wait for this it depends on your internet if you have slower internet it's not gonna download faster but if you have faster internet it's gonna download some AI model for you very faster and as you can see it's not only for material extraction but you can actually light map just extract lighting from other videos and just go for it you have pbr neural enhancer you can also remove the background using the same tool but it's not really accurate so just use after effects to do it you can literally use another software to remove the background and just do it like it's amazing okay okay so it's downloaded now i paused the video and now it's downloaded you can just click get started to use the model but in my case i'm going to use material extraction I'm gonna click get started and it, you will see that window you can read this stuff but I don't really give a shit so I'm gonna go ahead and it says input image directory just click select and uh, put in a directory where you save the PNG sequence so I'm gonna go ahead click the PNG and click the one image and click uh, open yeah click open and now as you can see the directory is added now it's time to go ahead and click select and select a new uh, just right click create a new folder just name it uh, maps maybe yeah that's fine i'm gonna double click select the folder and yeah that's it you just need to change the model to image model to use it because we're actually uh, dealing with png sequence so just go ahead and do it that's it yeah that's totally easy just change from video model to png model because it's uh, important in this case so i'm gonna click it and just click it and uh yeah that's that's the whole point behind it click extract and it will start extracting it first of all it will start loading it then after that it's going to just work yeah you need to wait for this a little bit because it's going to take some time to load these images then convert them one by one into maps it's not just one map like normal but it have multiple maps it have literally six maps to create for every single frame like if you have 250 frames of the video it will create uh like thousand frames you know what i mean like it will create a video maps having 250 frames it will create normal maps having 250 images and you will also have roughness you will also have different sort of maps to create but right now it isn't starting because it have to take some time to start so just wait for this and just grab a coffee and wait for it okay so i'm just waiting for it to start and how you will know that it will start well if you look at the cancel button it will show a yellow line that will be going through when the yellow line reaches as you can see it's a pure that's 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 what it is it will start loading it once the yellow line completes um its destination it's done so you need to wait for this to happen because it's going to take some time and it have so many frames to calculate so it's not just just a snap but it's actually taking some time because uh, it's not an easy thing to do so it's taking its time to do it you just gotta chill around and wait for this to happen you just grab your phone and watch some reels on tiktok yeah and uh you can just go ahead and do it because it's gonna take some time it's like rendering and uh 
okay so it's taking time i think i'm gonna pause the video because i think it's going to take some time and i don't know how much time it's gonna take so i'm just gonna go ahead and do it so let's wait for this shit to happen i'm gonna pause the video uh i'm gonna restart okay so it's done and it, it, it says material extraction is finished click ok and it will open up the directory you can say you have albedo maps you have normal maps if you open it up this is what we want and that's it it's like a magical thing to do okay so once it's done you can close it and you can open up your 3d software in my case it's blender i'm gonna open it up and i will show you how to set up all those map on your video in your 3d scenes so let's just go ahead and open up our hero which is called blender i love it yeah it's starting out and just go ahead and click a x and delete everything i'm gonna go ahead and shift a i'm gonna add a mesh plan uh first i'm gonna select one image uh as an image plan we have okay so i'm gonna go ahead uh to my maps switch light albedo just select one frame and click uh import image if you go to the top view you will be able to see it i'm gonna scale it up so you can also see it okay so it is the one frame i'm gonna open up a new window just go to the shadow editor okay so let's delete this one image uh, i'm gonna open it up and delete it so shift a go into texture and click image sequence just go ahead and open up one of the image sequence from the six of them so i'm just gonna go into maps switch light albedo open it up click a to select everything and import okay so let's go ahead and connect the color with the color and the alpha maps with the alpha of the principal bsdf and now if you zoom in just click those two buttons i click and auto refresh it will help loading the video again and again i'm gonna click by hitting shift shift d to duplicate and i'm gonna load up another map which is roughness map i'm gonna click a and open the image i'm gonna connect the color with the roughness shift d uh, shift d duplicate again open up another map by clicking this folder button click normal and click a to select all the images and click open image grab your color search for normal map and just click it connect it with the color and just grab the normal node to the normal and yeah as you can see you can decrease the strength to not make it very obvious and you can click shift d duplicate it and just click this button let's import the specular map just click a and select everything open the image if you zoom in on the principal you can turn on specular and just grab and connect this with the uh specular uh ir no i think not a tint maybe level yeah it's gonna it's gonna work okay so i'm gonna go ahead and click shift a i'm gonna load up a depth map so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh go into depth uh, I think it's not gonna work it's not perfectly done I'm gonna connect it with displacement height and just go ahead and connect it with displacement I think it made some bad changes into it I think I'm not gonna use it in in that case because the resolution wasn't really good so I'm gonna turn this off okay okay so I think the albedo doesn't really look good so I'm gonna click shift a and I'm gonna search for image texture I'm gonna click open and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the original PNG sequence that we exported from After Effects. So I'm gonna click PNG and click A and open image. Now you can click uh, cyclic and auto refresh, just connect this with the color and also the alpha map. So I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it with the alpha. And now, as you can see, we got our video in 3D scene, which will actually interact with the environment. And this is what we want yeah that's that's the whole point of this video now you can just add it into any environment in your blender scene just go ahead into render and just go ahead and yeah just make it black and shift a just create a light and just create a normal as you can see our video is interacting with the light like you see in 3d scene you can just add any light and that's it this is the whole point of this video you can create a camera put in the camera in front of the video and set the result same resolution like 19 uh, 1080 by 1920 and let's just go ahead 1920 yeah enter 
and now we're gonna zoom in and see what we got here and yeah that's looking good turn off the lock and if you're going to render and turn uh, select the light turn off the overlays okay you can change the color to anything you want and this is what we are looking for I'm gonna duplicate it just move it anywhere you want and uh, that's it that's how you can change the colors here you can see I have added some studio lights which actually looks really good you can change it to any color you want you can even add an HDRI to light it up because it's actually really good and I love it I love this technique I always use this technique in my workflow because it's really handy it's really easy you can turn on transparent in the render settings you can uh, add a little bit of uh, gray color in the world settings if you play it a render to turn off temporal replace, uh, reprojection and just play it and yeah I think that's looking good I like it like how the light get increased when he get closer into the light and this is what I wanted yeah, in my entire life like I was have to composite mask out every single part to light it up but right now I have this so it means that I can use it for literally anything to light up and yeah that's looking good that's amazing yeah just change the color to anything you like and you will have the exact same color I really use it for the scene that needs so like whenever I add anything into that scene I just use it and light it up that's amazing let's create uh, a new environment texture and go ahead and import an HDRI just put in any kind of HDRI that you want I'm gonna put this one and as you can see it have that color select it and hit H to hide the other color so we have only SGRI that is affecting it and now I, I added another one and uh, I'm gonna turn off the transparent in the render settings so you can see it and as you can see it's perfectly doing its job and this is what I wanted uh, you can just add any environment into it and you will be able to have it in there yeah it's like really good so guys, uh, I hope you liked the video, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will be always sharing this kind of videos with you people so you can have the same content in the future. You might miss my new videos so just go ahead and subscribe to my channel uh, so you get the future upcoming videos because I'm making them on some awesome topic that you don't know and you always want to explore. So guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.